portraiture in its most conventional sense is the idea of a single frame, of a single image that can tell everything about its subject and its character. The first thing that came to mind when I think about a beautiful photograph is something that, that feels sort of soulful to me, that has some sense of the photographer's spirit in it. Photography holds up a mirror to us as to what we are about. To me, it's about people more than anything else. Connecting is a process. It's a very human process. So in some situations, you wait to feel comfortable yourself to interact with the subject. And that's why I'm very protective of the people I photograph, which mainly are performers. It's so hard. I mean, when you're on the other side and you know how much you see in somebody. I started using myself as the model. At first, I, I didn't really know how it would look like because I'm always on the other side of the camera. And uh, I liked the results, so it became a series. You know, you're, you're kind of a one-man band. You're often you're just kind of following your own nose and your own instincts, and you're just out kind of exploring, having an, a, kind of an adventure. It's arresting, and it also has a sense of presence. And you can put it in an album, or you can put it in a drawer, you can hang it on the wall. It's there to be used and to be seen. And it's like a Bible in a hotel room. You know, it's there. And no one's going to steal it. In the case of portraiture, that uh, I mean, a number of artists have said, you know, I'm just taking self-portraits. And it really has a lot to do, I think, with the people they choose, the sorts of things they want to look at. But usually, you know, it's their subjects that reflect very much their interest, their desire, again, what they want to see. But it very much reflects their interest and their way of seeing. And, and in the end, it's not only about their subject, but it's very much about their way of looking at something. Pictures of people, you know, sleeping on the bench and lovers on the bench, and there's all kinds of people playing chess and doing all sorts of frisbee. It's a really a uh, very visual place. I never work in the sun. I always go to the. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see this. This is my. This is the last picture on the roll from. Uh, Morocco, Marrakesh. Anyway, no, I was saying, I, I'm on one job I worked on, they used to call me the Prince of Darkness because I used to shoot uh, just before sunrise. <laughs> so I had the whole crew out on the set and we're waiting for the sun to rise. So, uh, but anyway, let's just walk down here. I think people, when you first encounter them, they try and put on a particular mask. And I, I don't want people to try and look a certain way. I want them to just be completely natural and, and, and just, just themselves without a kind of grinning or smiling or putting on some silly expression. This, oh, this is a, one of my favorite pictures here. This is a, a picture I took in a, uh, 1984. This is the women in the dust storm. That traditional dress, whether it was a turban or a sari or whatever, it, it evolved over hundreds or thousands of years. And then within a generation, they discarded and put on a baseball cap and a t-shirt and, uh, and that's, and then we're, you know. So that, that individuality, that uniqueness, uh, it kind of starts to disappear and it's really sad. Let's see what else I have here. I was in a small village called Brindavan. Widows 
her sin here. In India, being a widow is sort of a stigma, sort of a bit of bad karma or bad luck. So widows are kind of shunted off to this particular village. She was around 80 and had been living in this village as a widow since she was 14, and she could barely walk. She invited us to her home. We went there, and, and uh, she gave us some tea and had a, like, this really wonderful sense of humor. And um, I, I started thinking, you know, somebody who has such bad luck in life and somebody who has such misfortune and somebody who can actually still be joyous and have a good attitude and a sense of humor, that's a real special person. You know, there's this commonality of humanity which comes through. Although they look different, they may live in a, it may be a nomad living in a tent, but fundamentally they're just the same as you or I. It's always good to have all your cameras set so that uh, as soon as you see something, you can pounce. I mean, the most fun is actually to go to a city or a place with your camera and literally just walk around and explore. Initially, it's not really about pictures, it's just about enjoying life and about enjoying the day and about discovering things around you, which you normally wouldn't. When you can kind of relax and get into that zone of uh, just being in the moment, not thinking about tomorrow or yesterday or what I'm going to have for dinner, uh, but really just focusing on what's around you at that particular point in time. And truly as possible.